Hello everyone, this is me, Galena Betty, aka Catwoman from Tech Valor, and I'm live! Yay! <laughs> Um, so like I mentioned here in the title, you guys are going to get to know Sally. Um, if you guys are part of Wired Wednesday, then you would know that, um, I would actually use various AIs to shout out people's names in the chat when they spoke with us. And I think I found the best one and I wanted it to share with, with uh, you all. Um, but first I wanted to give a shout out to my thirst buckets. Uh, let's see if, um, <laughs> if Sally could do it. So I'm just going to add her into the stream. Let me know if you guys can hear her, okay? Shout out to the Thirst Buckets. Listen to Julian, Kia 2 Technical, Shea Queen of Steeler Nation Kennedy, and Barry Johnson. Were you guys able to hear her? So I'm trying out this thing where I keep the... I keep it, but I put it in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I might have to... Um, make her small but while I because there's a delay I'm gonna wait for the feedback I wanted it to say thank you to listen to Julian hi <laughs> where have you been sir it's been forever it's so funny like um me easy and um holler at you boy we were talking about you we were like where has he been so I see that you snuck in here and gave a super chat if you're still here come and converse with us um, I remember like you made some of like the dopest tech videos, especially tech um, rap videos. Like they were awesome. Like you did one on the Note 5 and then one on the Note 7. And it was, <laughs> so thank you so much um, for the super chat. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting some feedback. So Barry said that he could hear me. Okay, he said we can hear her. Yes, all right, great, woohoo, awesome, yay! So I'm gonna have her uh, say something else. And I, I know it's like, it takes me a while to type and then obviously I have typos. So, bear <laughs> with me. Thank you for the super, super chat. Listen to Julian. <laughs> I don't know why I put super, super chat. <laughs> uh, but yes, thank you so much for the super chat, Julian. Appreciate it. Um, so I, I haven't put any new super chat dances. So this is the one that you're going to get, okay? Okay. 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 So that's what you get. <laughs> um. So as far as like other people that have come in, hey Swarthy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey Sharky, welcome. Hi Eric, welcome. Hey, God, you got us. Welcome. All right. So you guys are going to get to see me shout out people live. Okay. Going to do this. You're going to do this. All right. <laughs> now, the reason why it's not just a simple process is because um, I have to go through the chat and then I have to figure out whose name that I add to the list or did not add to the list. So I have to pay attention to who we've been conversing with, right? So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen over here. This website is called voicemaker.in. Uh, I put it in the chat as well for everyone. And I'll put, um, I put it in the description, so now I'll also put it in the chat. And there's various different types of AI uh uh, voices, right? And the first AI voice that I used to use on Wine Wednesday was Bixby. So back then when Bixby first came out, uh, you were able to um, write something and then Bixby would say it back aloud to you, 
Okay. And so I would use that on, on Wine Wednesday. Then once Bixby became more advanced, they got rid of that feature because not a lot of people were using it. I guess I was the only person that was using it. And then um, what I did was I started to use an app, right? And this app, name had a voice named Sally and her voice was very, very seductive. Everybody loved it, right? It was great. Um, but it would take a little, uh, it would take just as long as to get Bixby's voice ready. And the reason is because I would have to copy everyone's name, figure out whose name I already got. And then I would have to email it to myself, right? Copy all the names, put it in the app and then play it on my phone aloud on the, on the stream. Now, with this one, this one is web-based, okay? And I can't even remember the name of the app because it was so long ago, but this one is web-based, which is great, okay? So, like I said before, uh, this, is that, this is the website, Voicemaker IN, okay? And then they also have one named Sally, and her voice is also seductive, just like, you know, you just heard her talk right now, Okay. And um, you can um, it's uh, you can use the free version. The free version is capped at 400 characters, but that's if you're signed in with an account. I am logged in with my Google account. Um, if you are not logged in, you're limited to 250 characters. So that's what it limits you. And then it also limits you to the type of voices. OK, so right here, for example, is the standard TTS. So let me just take out the super super. Sorry. Um, so here's standard TTS voices, right? And it's it's a okay amount of selection, right? But um, also, um, it's not as advanced, okay? So like, for example, this one, if you go over to voice effect, you can change the way that the AI talks, right? Um, but it's standard TTS. So it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't pronounce things as well as the neural TTS because the neural TTS is more advanced. It can tell which words or which, even if they're sandwiched together. Okay. But standard TTS doesn't really, and it doesn't have the correct cadence. So neural TTS is better, but I'll let you guys hear what standard TTS sounds like. So I put you know, right here. Thank you for the super chat. Listen to Julian. I'll put a comment here just for grammatical sake. And then I'm going to choose Sally again and um, convert to uh, convert to speech. This is the button that you choose, right? But again, there's more uh, different types of options that you can choose with Sally. So we're just going to choose default, right? You can also change the audio settings. Um, like when you download it, do you want, what type of file do you want? But I'm just, I'm not downloading anything right now. I, what I, my main focus is going to be on the voice effect. Okay. So. Thank you for the super chat. Listen to Julian. So I don't know if you could tell, like Sally sounds a little bit more different. She sounds way more robotic than when she has sounded earlier, correct? Um, and I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, it looks like everybody's just having a good conversation. Perfect. And um, here is the breathing, okay? It's supposed to be a more breathier version of Sally. Thank you for the super chat. Listen to Julian. <laughs> so you're <just> like, <laughs> okay, it's not breathy. It's like you're out of breath. Like you just finished running kind of thing, right? Um, so here's the soft version of Sally. Again, this is not, uh, she's not going to have the perfect cadence, all right? Because it's standard. Thank you for the super chat. Listen to Julian. Like she just sounds so robotic, all right? So we will switch over to neural TTS, right? And we're going to choose Sally again, all right? And then you'll notice that only default and DRC are the only ones that's available for it. So when you go over to the neural TTS, not only do you have more premium ones, okay, but you'll also, the voice effects will change. I don't know why they don't have a breathy version of Sally right now, but, you know, let's just, again, listen to the default version. So I'm going to hit convert to speech. Thank you for the super chat. Listen to Julian. Okay. 
And then this is DRC. And DRC, if you hover over here, it says dynamic range compression. So it, it just has like a better uh, cadence. Thank you for the super chat. Listen to Julian. Okay. And now if somebody in the chat would please write, you know, what, what they want Sally to say next. Um, Sharkfin asks, Cat, is this only for live streams or can Sally be used? Sally can, can be used for anything. The answer is Sally can be used for anything. So I actually did a video. I didn't use Sally. I used, who was it that I used? Uh, Jenny. <laughs> I used Jenny. So I used her for one of my videos. I had her do a voiceover just because there was so much talking in it and I just didn't have the. Um, the bandwidth to just say everything that I was going to explain, you know, it's just to cut down my time. And though it was a success, the feedback that I got from it is that just use my own voice. Okay. Just, just use your own voice. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. That's what my audience would like of me. Um, but here I'll go over to, I'll click Jenny. And if you've seen one of my latest videos, then you, you might recognize her. And I'm going to change what she says. And then let's see how smart is Jenny. Is she going to um, put this word together or is it going to separate it? Okay. So I'm going to choose Jenny. And uh, again, you'll see that the different voice effects are here. Um, I'm going to choose newscaster because it's more professional, okay? I can be used for just about anything Shark Fin Tech. See, it figured out that Shark Fin Tech and that the shark and the fin are two different words. They're just put a little bit closer than separate words, if that makes sense. I hope that answered your question. What's up, LaShawn? All right. So um, I'll have you listen to her in default mode, Jenny in default mode. I can be used for just about anything, Shark Fin Tech. Yeah, like that one's more like conversational, you know, kind of like uh, more casual, right? And then um, here's conversational. I can be used for just about anything, Shark Fin Tech. And then here's digital assistant. This one's kind of cool. I can be used for just about anything, Shark Fin Tech. Yeah, this one sounds more like an assistant, right? Yeah. Well, this one is actually Jenny. It's not Sally, okay? But the one that I use for Wired Wednesday is Sally because people are like, Say my name, Sally, you know, but um, there are a bunch of different voices. So let's choose another voice. Okay. Um, here's, where's, which is another one that I know that's really good. This one, we'll try Matthew. All right, so this is Matthew, okay? And again, the digital assistant is not, a, is not available for this one. So I'm just going to go to default. Sally isn't the only one that has a bomb sounding voice. That's very deep. That's very deep. But I don't like the default voice. Let's see how the conversational one sounds. Sally isn't the only one that has a bomb sounding voice. That sounds a little bit better, but it has like this raspiness to it that I don't really like. Um, let's try newscaster. Sally isn't the only one that has a bomb sounding voice. I don't think I like any of Matthew's voice, I'm going to be honest. Sally isn't the only one that has a bomb sounding voice. Oh, where's the reverb coming from? Ouch. Um, 
what is another guy that sounds really good? I'm trying to remember. I haven't used the guy's voice in a while. Let's try Johnny. I'm so corny. Like, you guys need to give me some examples of what these AIs should say because uh, I'm a cornball. So DRC is not available. Uh, let's try default. Johnny is my name. Talking is my game. <laughs> that one sounds, I think it sounds a little bit better than Matthew. Johnny is my name. Talking is my game. Oh, it has like, I don't really like the DRC. It's like, eh, uh, 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 uh. it's like, like a jabbing kind of motion in the voice. Um... Let's see what Robert sounds like. Gosh, what can I say? I just copy what, what LaShawn said. <laughs> just getting home. And it only has default. Yeah. And this is, so this one's new. This one's a new voice. Yeah. Now these ones here that say AI4, this one is for the paid version. I can't use these ones. So they do have a paid version and it gives you more characters and obviously more voices. But what this use case could be good for is if you want to, okay. Sharky wants to, okay. He said, perhaps James Earl Jones is called for. James Earl. You're saying that there's one called James? Justin, Joey. Oh, you're saying that Matthew's voice is deep and could be used for James Earl Jones? Is that what you're trying to say? But um, a use case that this could be used for is, for example, let's say you're, um, you want to do a skit where you're talking with someone else, right? And instead of using your voice and tweaking and being like, ah, or right, you could just use this AI to be the second person that you're talking to, correct? Um, that's off camera or in camera. You can make it be, you know, something else. Or... Um, You've seen those videos on YouTube where they uh, keep on, um, how do I explain it? Where they read Reddit posts or funny Facebook posts or interesting posts on Twitter, right? They use AI. So you could use this for that, right? Um, now, obviously, keep in mind, there's only 400 characters. So you'll have to just keep making file after file after file because you can't use that you can't use that many you know for such a long time um so you'll need to create multiple files and then combine the mp3s and then obviously sync them to the video that you're making but out of all of the ais that i found like they uh they pronounce a lot of things incorrectly for example the word burger they pronounce it burger and it just it, it pisses, like, I'm like, uh, it throws me out of what I'm listening to when they're reading, like, Reddit posts or something like that. That's why I like people who actually read, read the posts or the funny things or the interesting things that are online. Um, but let me see, like, now that I'm thinking about it, let me see if they pronounce it burger correctly. Well, let me spell the word burger right first. Bur burger. All right. Let's use, oh, I can't use. Wait, I, can I use Aria? Yes, I can use Aria because she's AI3. She's AI3. All right. And I'll use her as default. Burger. See, she pronounced burger right. She didn't pronounce it burger. <laughs> I wish I hope these people like that create those types of videos like come here to this website and use it. Um, so 
you can also use this to, if you have like an audio book, you can have this thing read it for you. Um, you can change the different, you know, you can use the same voice, but use them differently for the different types of characters or cadences, things like that. Um, Sharky said, yeah, I'm just goofing, meaning Matthew would have been made deeper. Yes, that's true. Um, Gadget Goddess says, hence the reason people wanted you to use your voice in your videos, maybe the burger thing, or just wanting to feel like they're dealing with a person. Yeah. 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 I just, obviously, like I said before, it was just for time's sake. Cause it was just, it was a really lengthy, lengthy tutorial, but you know, now I'm just using my voice and I'm recording at the same time that I'm talking. I am noticing that that's cutting down time as well when I edit videos, but it still takes me a long time just because I'm so nitpicky. And I guess that's just always going to be my problem. Let's try Jerry. Jerry. All right. He only has one and that's the fault. So let's see. Burger. Ooh. Ooh, I like Jerry. I need Jerry to say something, something, oh, something long. All right, hold on. I just copy and paste it with Gigi said. Here we go. Hence the reason people wanted you to use your voice in your videos, maybe? The burger thing or just wanting to feel like they are dealing with a person. <laughs> now that he just said all that sentence, why did his voice get high all of a sudden? It was supposed to be deep. Oh, maybe it got high because of the question mark. Not high, like, you know, high, high, like, you know, smoking high, but high, like high pitched all of a sudden. So, eh, 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 eh. Um, let me try it like this. Something long, something long. Pause. <laughs> okay. Something long pause. Something long pause. All right. So if you want to make the, if you want to make this person wait before saying the word pause, you can obviously add a period, but the period might not be enough time to make the effect of pause be that well. So um, let's, let's hear it. Something long pause. Yeah. It, it still needs a little bit more of a wait. So you can add a longer pause right here. You could do um, half a second, a full second. So we'll just go with half a second. Well, let's see. Something long. Pause. Yeah, that sounds way better. All right, let's see if it pronounces the name Kimmy correctly. And instead of, in, uh, instead of just letting him go out on a date, ASAP. I'm going to put a pause there, a half a second pause. And this word ASAP, I'm going to emphasize it strong. Let's see what, let's see what that sounds like. I want to take Kimmy out for a date ASAP. Hey, ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. <laughs> uh, oh, Simple Silly Digital says this is nice. I love myself some AI. Yeah. I wish that I, we could take these voices and add them to the AIs that we currently have that talk to us, like change Alexa's voice with one of these voices. Cause I would love Jenny to be my assistant. That would be great. No one does. <laughs> it said it right, right? Yeah. Jerry, go Jerry, go Jerry, go Jerry. It said Kimmy, right? It didn't say co me like my daughters do. <laughs> Yes, the computers do love gadget goddess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when when we get when we have our AI overlords, they they might be nice. Uh, who else? Let's try Isabella. All right, so I'm gonna copy what. <laughs> He said, and let's see how Isabella sounds. All right, so she only has the fault as well. There we go. 
Swarthy, no, there are no AIs that say Kimmy right. Ugh, that sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds bad. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Um, and this one doesn't have the E on it. I noticed that the ones that have the E on it, they those are the ones that sound a little bit better. Let's see, Joanna. Okay, Joanna. The fault. Swarthy, no, there are no AIs that say Kimmy right. Oh, Joanna. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to add some stuff here to make the, the sentence sound a little bit better. And I'm just going to change this word from right to correctly. Swarthy, no, there are no AIs that say Kimmy correctly. Ooh. Nice. All right, let's see conversationally. Swarthy, no, there are no AIs that say Kimmy correctly. Mm, no conversation or no. No, newscaster, let's try newscaster. Swarthy, no, there are no AIs that say Kimmy correctly. That sounds good, but it has like this raspiness that you can tell it's a robot. The default one seems to be the best so far. Swarthy, no, there are no AIs that say Kimmy correctly. All right, default one for the win. So Gigi says that, that, um, Joanna and Jerry must be dating. Why? Because they know how to say your name correctly? Or this site is just the bomb.com, voicemaker.in. Um, let me see if it'll show you guys the prices. All right, so here it is. And the prices are cheap. All right, so here what it says. For the free version, when you're logged in, up to 400 characters per conversion unlimited conversions until it's out of beta. So once it gets out of beta, then you're going to be restricted to how many um, you can convert, meaning how many you can play back and, and download. 70 voices, 30 languages. I forgot to mention that. It does have different languages. Um, so if you wanted to say something in French, Sharky, go ahead and um, type it out, and then I will have the AI say something in French. Um, Personal and commercial use supports YouTube videos, uh, dedicated support. In the basic version, that's $5 a month and um, up to 3,000 characters per conversion, unlimited conversions, 70 AI verses, 30 languages. So the so basically the voices amounts don't change. It's just how many characters per conversion. Um, you do get a smart editor, which is going to be coming soon. Uh, you can save to the cloud. Uh, you'll have file history, obviously personal commercial use and the kid support, just like the free one. And then the premium one is up to 3,000 characters per conversion, just like the basic one. Unlimited conversions. You get more AI voices. So this is the one where you get the AI 3 and the AI 4, which I'm already using the AI 3. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't think they realize that. We'll just... All right, uh, 50 languages, um, everything basically from the basic package, okay? And then you could pay $25 a year and you can do audiobooks up to 100,000 characters per conversion, 1 million character pack, 70 AI voices, 30 languages, cloud safe support, advanced support or personal. Now, there are certain things that are in this one that is not in the other, so you'll have to like, kind of pay attention to that. Like, it doesn't say, like it says 1 million character pack, but it doesn't say unlimited com converts. And then it says 70 AI verses plus 30 languages, right? Which is the one that's here, the basic pack, but it doesn't include AI 3 and AI 4. So there's the catch. All right. Okay. And then this is going to be coming soon. I am so interested in this one. It says, build a custom brand voice, right? It says, you're going to be able to have the ability to clone your voice. 
So you'll record something, right? And then the robot is going to take your voice and be able to make things for you based off of your voice. How good is going to sound? I don't know because Adobe tried to do this. I think it was back in 2016 where they said, we have a product where you could uh, record your voice and then the AI will be able to say stuff for you and it'll sound like you're the one that's saying it, right? And it never came out. It didn't. So the fact that these people are going to try to do it, that's cool. And then, of course, there's also the, what's it called again? The scariness, uh, the worriness of, okay, somebody going to steal my voice and they're going to use it for evil, right? Call for a ransom or something. Or make me say something I didn't say. But I'm so super interested in this and, and to see what the experience is like and also how much it's going to cost. So, yeah. Uh, I see here that Sharky sent me something in French. Woohoo! So, I'm going to go back to the um, AI. Oh, Russian voices are coming soon. Ooh, AI5 is coming. Oh, hold on. Let's go here. Change it from English to French. French Canadian. Let's do French Canadian. Okay. Chantel. All right. So I'm just going to go and copy what Sharky said. Put it in here. You tell me if this sounds if this sounds good. We'll try Chantel. Even though Chantel is not an AI 3, let's try her and see how it goes. And then I also noticed that it doesn't have the E in it. So, oh, wait, I'm in standard. Hold on. Let me go to neural. Ah, that's why. Okay. Okay. More opened up. More open the oh wait, how did I go back to English? I'm confused. Wait, wait, let me go to French. Go to French Canadian. Noro. Okay, we're in Noro. Charlotte. Let's I mean Scarlet. Let's try Scarlet. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. All right, you tell me, Sharky. Um, let me Close the voice settings, open up the effects. Okay, it only has default. Let's try Marie Pierre. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Ooh, nice. Christopher. Let's see how Christopher sounds. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. It still sounds kind of like a robot. It has that like underlying robot voice, right? Let's hear Paul. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Oh, Paul is deeper, but it, you know, it has that kind of like AI, AI voice underlining. Let's see, Sylvie, and this one's an AI 3, so we'll see. Okay, Simplicity Digital says, I speak French a little, but very bad, question mark. Are you asking me? I don't know if your French is bad. <laughs> All right, let's try this again with Sylvie. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Oh, that one sounds real. I think out of all the ones that we tried, that one sounds the best. Let's try Jean. Oh, Jean. Jean, sorry. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Oh, he sounds like he's going like this to you. Like, are you listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, all right. Sharky said it's accurate, but definitely has the Canadian infliction. All right, great. That's what we were going for. Do you want me to try French French? Simplicity said tre is supposed to sound like tr, right? Okay. Oh, you were asking Sharky. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Daisy, yes. Okay. All right, so it's it's missing a couple in there. All right, uh, let's try Kylie Ann. Kylie Ann. I think that's how you pronounce this word. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Killian. Wow. <laughs> I was pronouncing the name so wrong. Okay, it's Killian. So Killian sounds really good. Um, they don't have any other different types of effects, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you're not. Yeah, I know you're not trolling. 
All right, we'll go with French, French, Canadian, French, French from France. Okay. Let's see if there's any ones that have different um, voice effects. Can't do AI for Henry. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Wow, Henry sounded great. I like, oh yeah. That sounded really good. I don't know what they're saying. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. You can hear the, the robotiness. Let's see how Denise sounds. Je parle français un peu, mais très mal. Nice. Yeah, I like Denise. Denise and Henry. Great job on those. Let me just try that one. That one's... Je parle français un peu, mais no. très mal. No, 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 no. No, yeah. Henry, Henry and Denise for the win. Henry and Denise for the win. I have not tried AI4. I would, I would love to be able to preview it, but it won't let me. Yeah, like, you need to get the premium plan. I don't know why I did that voice. <laughs> Very likes Henry too. <laughs> okay, so what he says, I took French in high school, but not great at it. Yeah, I've done I've done for other languages too, not in high school, but I've done some for I've done I've taken Spanish. I've done Duolingo. I've done Duolingo for Japanese and Korean. It didn't stick with me because I didn't stick with it, not because Duolingo sucks. Um yeah, I think I think this is really, really cool and, and really, really interesting. Um now there's been a couple of nights where I've done it on I've used Sally on Wired Wednesday and it it didn't work well. And that was because um the last time I was using um what's it called again? Voice meter banana. I was using voice meter banana to um so that you guys could hear my desktop audio but it was like probably like the last 15 minutes of wired wednesday my husband came in so in order for him to hear i went over to the wireless um headset and i gave him the wireless headset and then i used the big microphone well i didn't change any of the settings on voice meter banana and uh, I messed up. So nobody could hear their names for a while. It took me like 10 minutes to get it up and running. And then I was able to finally do it. And yeah. So, and I wasn't really talking on the show as well because I was too busy trying to find out who talked and who do I already have on the list on my notepad and, you know, stuff like that. So that's why we didn't do it the next time. But we will definitely use Sally again for some special occasions, uh, so for some special Wired Wednesday. So she's not gone. She's just on a little, on a little break for Wired Wednesday is all. Okay, Sharkfin says, that Daisy is far from fully fluent. I think they all are far from fully fluent, even in the English one. Like it, it could be better, but it's pretty good. You know, like I'm, I'm excited for what type of funny things can happen. Um, for example, Spectacular Gadgets, she did a video. Um, she had a, a robot called Johnny and she called it Johnny number five. And she used the AI voice to basically make it sound like he was talking to her. And that was funny. That was such a funny skit. And you could tell it was a robot voice because it was like mispronouncing certain things, right? So if she was to do this skit again, maybe with a different type of robot, or if Eric was to do a skit with his uh, robot, that's, you know, his white robot that he has to plug up the button <laughs> in order to charge, um, he could use this. So there's so many fun use cases that you can use this for. Um, and I wanted to share that with you all. So I hope that uh, you guys use your imagination and use this website. Like right now, because it's in beta, it's completely free. So I would suggest making an account because they might offer a deal or they, they might allow your account to stay free when they do get out of beta. Because it's always good to like try something out for beta and then usually they have some type of deals for early, early adopters. So that'll be great. 
Eric likes the idea of doing a skit with his robot. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. I am going to bring her back. I am. I said, like I said, I'm, I am going to bring her back. Sharkfin wants me to try out Spanish. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely try out Spanish. <laughs> Easy hustle can bring her back. Yes, I. she's going to come back. She is. How about your voice said, I have an AI robot. Her name is. Antonika? Antonika? <laughs> Am I pronouncing it right? As a matter of fact, let's have one of the robots pronounce this name. So, oh, I put English Philippines. Yeah. There's so many different types of English. It's great. English. English. USA. And let's have Jerry say it. Antonica. <laughs> Antonica. <laughs> I said it right. Jerry said it wrong. Jerry, we need to send you a memo on how to pronounce Antonica right. Okay. <laughs> you guys are a hoot. All right. So we're going to try Spanish. Oh. Swarthy said, Duolingo is not bad, but it's not good either. Well, Duolingo reminds me of, what's it called again? Rosetta Stone. So when I, when I was uh, working for um, a disability company, I had to use my Spanish more. I only knew conversational Spanish. I didn't really know traditional Spanish. And so I used Rosetta Stone to um, have a more formal speech when it came to Spanish. And when I use Rosetta Stone, it was, it was much, it's, it's a lot like Duolingo, like a lot, a lot like it. So yeah, just wanted to say that. Now, what can I say in Spanish? <sighs> Do I even know how to type well in Spanish? I, I, let me write, let me, let me ask Google to tell me something in Spanish. I spelled the word phrases wrong with a F because I am good at spelling. <laughs> All right, cool. I found a thing that has like some basic Spanish stuff here. Let's go with Excuse me, where is the bathroom? We'll try that one. I don't know why. That one just jumped out at me. We'll go with this one, okay? Donde esta el baño? That's what it sounds like. Why well, sound more like a guy version? Donde esta el baño? Lady voice. Donde esta el baño? <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, so let me go down to the S's. Yeah, it was the Castilian Spanish that I was trying to get better at. Uh, we'll go with Spanish US. Okay, all right. Doesn't really have a lot of voices. Oh, Lupe. Let's go with Lupe. Oh, Lupe has different. Cool. All right, Lupe, let's ask for the bathroom in Spanish. ¿Dónde está el baño? Oh, that one sounds like I just said it. ¿Dónde está el baño? What the, what does this mean, LaShawn? Por sabir baño. What? The, por sabir? What, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say in English, sir? Are you trying to say, I know where the bathroom is? We're going to be like, yo sé dónde está el baño. All right, let's see how um, other versions of Lupe. Lupe, I like Lupe. ¿Dónde está el baño? Mm -hmm. That one, you can hear that robotic key undertone. Okay. Uh, DRC. ¿Dónde está el baño? Yeah, that, one, that one's a little bit better. A little bit better. But you can kind of still... Mm. All right. Savannah. Let me say in Spanish. Savannah. Lashawn <laughs> doesn't know what he was trying to 
Yes, exactly, Sorty. Yo no sé. Yo no sé. ¿Dónde está el blunt? <laughs> well, you need to figure out how to say the word blunt in Spanish. Um, Gadge Goddess, to go, I go, or oh, yo voy, right? Yeah, yo voy, to go. To go is more like I go. Well, no, to go is kind of like universal, right? Uh, your, your boy, I don't know why I'm saying it in English. Your boy is more like I go. All right. But if you want to say it as we go, is more like vamos. Nosotros vamos, right? Yeah. Hey, J. Well, what's up? He said, man, I'm late. I just finished my workout and dinner. Hey, everybody. I hope you got that good fiber. I Did I get any fiber today? No, I'm going to be honest. I did not have any fiber at all today. I had carbs and protein and, and that's it. <laughs> Gigi said, I think I, I think he wanted to say, I go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, um, LaShawn, I wanted you to tell me what you were saying, what you were trying to say, say it in English. You didn't, I didn't want you to try to say it in Spanish so I can get, you know, so I can understand. All right, so let's try the different, let's see Orlando in Spanish. ¿Dónde está el baño? Mm, yeah, I like, I like, yeah, I like Orlando. Orlando, Orlando. ¿Dónde está el baño? Okay. Manolito. I have not heard of that name before. Manolito. ¿Dónde está el baño? Oh my gosh, that sounds like the radio. Like when I'm driving down the road and I hit the Spanish section because they're putting commercials on all of the other stations. Yeah, he sounds like... ¿Dónde está el baño? Yeah, I feel like he's getting ready to sell me something. Over the radio. Yes, what 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 were you trying to say? Say it in English. Don't say it in Spanish. What were you trying to say? You were trying to say, oh, okay, okay. Please tell me where the bathroom is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna figure something out for you, okay? Um, how do you say the word blunt in Spanish? It's desafilada. Desafilada. It des a desafilada. <laughs> Let's listen to the Google's AI, okay? <laughs> All right, this is the Google's AI. Desafilada. And and the stuff like she sounds so sophisticated, and she's saying the word blunt. <laughs> Let's hear the guy. Desafilado. Oh, this is a girl saying it, but this is supposed to, okay. Desafilado is the masculine version of it, but it's not a guy that's saying it. It's a girl, still a girl saying it. Let's hear the English version. Blunt. Oh, that sounds so robotic. Blunt. And then the English one sounds so sophisticated. Desafilado. And this and this half a lot. <laughs> um, all right, so cigarrillo is more like cigarette shark fin. So blunt, I mean, is obviously in the cigarette rolling kind of group, right? But it's not exactly it. So we wouldn't go with that one. <laughs> Despacito. Yes, she did. She basically said the word very despacito, very slowly. <laughs> oh, God. So what was it that you were trying to say uh, in Spanish about blunts? I'm trying to go back. I, I want to satisfy my audience. <laughs> oh, I missed, I missed. I missed the meal. J. Will said, yes, ma'am, veggie meal tonight. No meat. <laughs> Good job. Good job, J. Will. You're doing great. And you worked out. And you spent some time with the family. 
you are living a very great life. I'm trying to find the comment that uh, that Lashan wrote in Spanglish. I think you were trying to say, "Donde está el desafilado?" Is that what you're trying to say? All right, let's just have let, let's just have um, Google tell us where is the what? That's your mic. Oh, they said it differently this time. Okay, feminine and masculine. The, the con, okay, I don't know how to pronounce. Let, before I before I listen to it, let's see, contundente. Contundente. Donde es la contundente? That sounds very robotic, but slow. All right, let's see if our AI can do better. It's Spanish USA. Spanish US. And who do we like last time? I think it was or I think it was Orlando that we liked. Okay, here we go. ¿Dónde es la contundente? Ooh, he's in a hurry too. He's like, where is it? ¿Dónde está el contundente? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde está? <laughs> like a blunt item, right? No, see, okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's not translating correctly because I'm like, okay, I'm going to be honest. I've never heard of contundente before. And I've never heard of this, whatever. I, I can't even remember what it was, the previous word. So I'm just going with what Google says. Google saying that's how you say blunt. That's how you say blunt. But you might be right. It might be a blunt item. <laughs> okay. All right. You want me to do Penelope? Okay. Vamos a tratar Penelope. Penelope. Error converting your text. Please check tags or setting in the text. What? It's not doing well. Maybe it's the question mark and the accent. Penelope, why are you not doing good with this one? Come on. Let me try just a regular O, no accent. All right, let me hit F5. Let's try again. All right, put this in here. Neural, Spanish, USA, and then we will try Penelope because Sharky is curious. Oh, there is no Penelope in U.S. Is she in the standard? Spanish, U.S. No, where did Penelope? Oh, yeah, okay, here you go. All right, yeah, this one's going to sound bad because this is the standard TTS, text-to-speech. ¿Dónde es la contundente? Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> Let's go with the neural ones. Uh, I wish that it would, uh, when you switch from standard to neural, that it'll just stay, you know, in the language. You don't have to, like, keep going back down. All right. Vamos a tratar Lupe. ¿Dónde es la contundente? Why do they all sound like they're in a hurry? Let's try Savannah. ¿Dónde es la contundente? Ooh. Ew, that was bad. That was really bad. All right, we'll try Orlando. ¿Dónde es la contundente? Oh, yes, Orlando. Yeah, you did a great job. Manolito. ¿Dónde es la contundente? Yeah, he sounds like he's going to choke somebody. Like, ¿dónde es? ¿Dónde está el desafilada? <laughs> we could try that one. All right, let me just find it. Where where was it? Because I have to go into the chat to find it. 
I wish I could copy and paste stuff from StreamYard, but I have to go into the chat to get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to have to go here, type it out. De Afilada. Right. ¿Dónde es la desafilada? Oh, let's go with desafilado because it's for LaShawn. All right. Take it away, Orlando. He seems to be, out of all of these, Orlando seems to be the best one. ¿Dónde es la desafilado? ¿Dónde es la desafilado? Well, oh, I'm mixing my, okay, it would be L. More like that. Yeah, that sounds way better. Jay Well said, Mi español es bueno, pero no lo uso mucho. No sé leer muy bien en es, el, el español, pero lo entiendo. Okay. Para mí, yo lo entiendo mejor. Lo hablo eh, más o menos. Uh, y leer, lo puedo leer bien, y lo entiendo. Sí, sí, sí. Good job, Daywell. That was really good. So, actually, let me see if I can find that one. Oh, Savage, you snuck in here. Hey, what's up, sir? Hey! Oh, wow, we have two minutes left. Okay, time flies when we're having fun. Jay, well, you're going live next, right? Okay, Jay Will said yes. Yes, he is going live. Okay, perfect. Great. Yes. So I will put your link in here, sir, because you're going to be going live after me. Yeah, if you had scheduled your live, I could have put it so that this stream could go directly to yours. But I know you're probably just going to go live when you go live. But yeah, I went ahead and put your link in there for those who do not have it. Um, we have about a minute left. It was a blast with you guys. You guys are awesome. I love y'all. And any final any final things that you guys want to say? Do you see yourself using this at all? For fun, not for serious. Because I, I, I would use it. I'm going to use it for serious. For serious. Well, is it for serious? Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm going to use it for serious and I'm going to use it for fun. I want to use it for both. But anybody here going to use it for serious or for fun? Hey, he's going to grab that granola bar. See you then, sir. Oh, you're very welcome, Barry. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> See, but I don't know. Yeah, basically, I'm like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, maybe not, not, not. All right, everybody saying good night. Well, it's been a blast with you guys. Thanks for being great as always. And I will catch you guys next week where we will talk about something interesting again. Bye. I said bye, but I was like, did it have my, okay. All right, now I'm really going to end it. Catwoman out. <laughs>